Hi there, uh, PNG Assassin here. I'm going to show you how to set up PF Sense. Uh, it's a Linux distro. Hello, Chumley. That's my cat. Um, it'll help you virtualize your home lab. So you can subnet your home lab from your local network and still be able to use things such as DHCP, DNS. For instance, I didn't do this and I had a DHCP server and I was giving out a bad gateway and then my folks uh, Mac could not connect. So what I'll do is just go to new, we're going to do the, I already have one, but we'll just do another one. Uh, yes, chummy. It'll be Linux and probably other Linux is the best bet. It's 32-bit. Oh, okay. Uh, YouTube. We'll click next. It probably could run on 128, but I think I have this other one on. Yeah, I have, I have it on 128. It's all command line. So create uh, VDI. Next, next, next. Then we're going to go to settings turn the audio off even though there's no audio storage let's get a uh, choose a virtual CD and you can download pfsense from uh, pfsense.org I'll link that in the description and then also I'm using VirtualBox uh, here we go let's see Linux pfsense so, what PFSense does, you have to have two network adapters, and one can be one is bridged, and the other is uh, internal network only. Um, for both adapters, you want to make sure it's Intel M10 desktop or server. I think desktop or server would work. But I've had issues with all the other drivers. It would automatically choose them for some reason. So then empty desktop, then that's fine. Then for adapter 2, advanced, M10. So this internal network, it's just like a VLAN basically. And you can rename this. And then you can set it on another virtual machine and just name, their, name your uh, attached adapter to internal network instead of bridge. Because this bridge allows PFSense to, to connect to your local network. And it does uh, NAT translation for you. So you can go from this inter internal network to your, local to your local network and to the internet. And from, but you can't go from your local internet to this because that, the NAT translation doesn't work that way. But uh, just adapter one, bridged adapter to your... Uh, Ethernet controller or driver, I mean, whatever. Then adapter two, internal. You could probably just have multiple if you want to split it even further. So it's basically just a virtual, easy to use switch. So let's see, Bubba, click OK, 12, press F12, start from the CD. So then you can, you can run it from uh, live CD, but I'll just install it. I mean, it takes about five minutes to install and it's already set up for you. Alright, so now that's all booted up, I mean, it was pretty easy. You just boot from the CD. Um, if you're not going to... Uh, we're not going to set up VLANs yet. We're, we'll just say auto and see if it'll detect it. No link, so uh, I believe it is E0. Whoops. Uh, don't remember what it's called. 
Ba ba ba. Z zero. Whoops, no. E zero. Let me let me quickly check on the other one. Not E zero. Don't remember what it's called. We will soon find out. So potentially you could just have a PF sense, PF sense, or you could just do it on one adapter. But uh, I mean, PF sense. Look at all this stuff starting up. Uh, WAN, Open VPN, Firewall. Uh, it's got DNS, NTP, uh, DHCP. And it's also got a web configuration, which is pretty cool. All right, so it's EM0, so that's kind of weird. But uh, you can just see from there, it's got all your stuff. But let's go back over here. So it's EM0, and then EM1. Enter. There we go. So it's uh, for VirtualBox and PFSense, it's EM0 and EM1 instead of E0 or E0 or something like that, or Fast Ethernet from uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. That's what I was trying. So enter, it'll be assigned as follows. So WAN is the bridged adapter, the first adapter. LAN is the second internal adapter named INET, whatever, I think. So then let's just click Yes to proceed. It's going to set up. Boot up complete. All right. We're going to install the system. Here we go. 99. Change video font. Ah, we'll just accept the settings. Quick, easy. Yeah, that's fine. So this is just installing to my hard drive of eight gigabytes. You could just use the live CD, but. I don't know. Let's just install it. All right. More than a... I don't know what that means. Reboot. It takes a little bit to reboot, but it's not bad. Alright, so I just did F12 one to boot for my first hard drive, and I'll just say which one to boot. You can boot for Pixie or PFSense. We'll just boot to uh, PFSense. And then you have different options you can boot from. I, you just click enter. I mean, there's safe mode, default, probably some other troubleshooting things, but I haven't had any trouble with them yet. Now, as I said just recently, I mean, it's got all this this VLAN, VLAN open VPN. There's a firewall, gateway, uh, and that web configurator. So, uh, can't see the mouse because it's command line. So it'll just say "Welcome to PF Sense." It'll list your adapters. So the uh, the WAN link, as I said, is your bridged adapter EM0. And it's getting DHCP from my internal network, and then my LAN, my LAN internal network is internal network, I guess. So I'm actually going to set my interfaces. I want to set LAN interface, so we're going to do 192.168.2.1. So it's on a different subnet. So my, so the internal network won't get confused with my actual like real life internal network and then it'll be just 24 subnet so I could enable DHCP but since I am running my Windows 7 over here with DHCP I don't want to do that but I can if I need to so let's say no at the moment um, sure why not 
I have actually never used the web configurator. Uh, it's just a pretty website to configure stuff. I mean, obviously, self-explanatory. But uh, yeah, so it's all set up. It just shows everything again, as you can see. Instead of 1.1, it's 2.1. And then it's all set up for you. And then to maybe shut it down, you have to press 8 to go to the command line or shell. And you can just type it in it, uh, in at 0 or in at 6 if you want to shut down or restart. So then now that's up. I'm going to actually shut, shut this one down. Uh, minimize. I'm going to start my actual one. I mean, it's no different, but I just want uh, consistency and whatever. So a ACPI, safe mode, USB. That's pretty cool. And also, it's cool at the end it says uptime. I like that too. So I can see maybe how long I've been on the computer or something. So now, while that's booting up, let me take this machine. Well, all my, sh my, all my machines have this. So we're going to go to settings. And just the same thing, network. But instead of bridged adapter like you would normally do, if you didn't want to do NAT via virtual box, you would want to do internal network. And you can name this whatever you want, but... I just kept it default so it's uh, internal network and of course I have the audio off and that's booting up uh, but that's how you set it up I don't want to show you DHCP on the server because it takes forever to boot up but I might probably not but that's all there is to it so it's basically a miniature router on 128 megs of RAM. I bet it could run on uh, half that, so 64. But uh, it's pretty easy to set up, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you. Have a nice day.